Hello, and welcome to Exploring Africa. Today on our program, we will be discussing the Kirk Stick Dick. Kirk Stick Dick, or Madoka Kirkai, is actually one of four species of Dick Dick, with the other species being Gunther's Dick Dick, Salt Stick Dick, and the Silver Dick Dick. However, due to the large presence of Kirk Stick Dick in Eastern Africa, we will be focusing on them for the majority of our program. The Dick Dick gets its name from the characteristic noise it emits when it feels threatened. It will follow this alarm call up with a series of zigzagging movements in an effort to confuse predators before hiding in the grasses that it calls home. Apart from running and hiding, Dick Dicks have almost no other defensive options, relying on their speed and stealth to survive. With this in mind, it's no surprise that in the wild, Dick Dicks will only live an average of five years. However, they can live up to 18 years in captivity. Let's take a closer look at the Dick Dick. Standing at 14 to 18 inches tall, the Dick Dick is considered one of the smallest deer species on the planet. In terms of differences between sexes, the species exhibits a few small but significant differences that help observers tell the difference between the two. To start, female Dick Dicks tend to be a little bigger than male Dick Dicks. Meanwhile, only the males have horns, with a small tuft of fur on their foreheads obscuring them. Additionally, males tend to have a lighter coloration than females. The coloration of Dick Dicks tends to vary based on whatever helps them camouflage best in their environment, ranging from gray to gray-brown on their backs, with a white underbelly and white rings around their eyes. The most striking characteristic of the Dick Dick is their long, proboscis-like snout that protrudes from their face. The length of a Dick Dick's nose serves to both cool them down and to conserve water. In such a dry environment, Dick Dicks rely almost entirely on plant moisture to survive, requiring them to evolve multiple ways to conserve what little water they can consume. Another one of these methods for conserving water is in their urine, with Dick Dicks producing the most concentrated urine on the planet. This combined with the amount of forage a Dick Dick can consume makes it one of, if not the most, water-efficient creatures on the planet. Zooming out a little, we see that Dick Dicks have quite a population range, with large populations in Tanzania, Somalia, Kenya, and Namibia. There are also some smaller populations located in neighboring countries, like Angola and Burundi. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the Dick Dick is a species of least concern meaning that it does not qualify as being threatened or endangered. However, its exact population size is unknown, with current estimates placing the total population anywhere from 900,000 to millions. They typically inhabit savanna biomes, preferring to stay in shaded areas with grasses that are not tall enough to obstruct their view of the surrounding areas. They have even been observed to migrate to different grasslands once the grasses grow above eye level. Because of this, it is not uncommon to see Dick Dicks living in the same area as zebras, as the zebras will keep the grasses short enough for the Dick Dicks to see. Dick Dicks have also been known to rely on larger creatures, such as greater kudus, elephants, and giraffes. These larger animals will often break off branches and leaves from trees they are feeding on providing another food source for the smaller Dick Dicks. Dick Dicks are quite adaptable when it comes to diet and will feed on foliage, fruits, shoots, berries, and other forages. This vast range allows them to survive in overgrazed areas. They are ruminants and concentrate selectors, meaning that they selectively feed on dicotyledonous plants such as leaves and fruits that are lower in fiber and higher in nutrients. Dick Dicks tend to only gravitate towards grasses when grasses are germinating, as this stage of maturity yields the highest nutrient content. As mentioned previously, 
The vegetation that Dick Dicks consume serves as an essential source of water for the species. To avoid the harsh midday heat, Dick Dicks typically only leave their shaded grasses to feed from dawn to mid-morning and from mid-afternoon to dark. For this reason, the Kirk Dick Dick is characterized as being mostly nocturnal. As you might expect, these little guys are also quite shy. They often remain concealed in brush, especially during the first few months of life. In addition to making their characteristic alarm call when stressed, they choose to hide from predators once far enough away by sitting low to the ground instead of fleeing. Most commonly, dick ticks will be preyed on by species such as lions, hyenas, crocodiles, and pythons. Although being quite shy, dick ticks will exhibit territorial behavior when necessary. Families often mark their territory via a unique defecation ceremony. First, a female defecates and urinates onto the family's territory. After the nearby male smells the female's waste, he bares his teeth, scrapes her waist with his feet, and then urinates and defecates as well. Following this, the male marks the territory with secretions from his preorbital glands. The preorbital glands are located within the eyes and produce a dark, sticky secretion with a scent that allows males to mark their family territory. Ultimately, males are responsible for defending the territory and will dash at other males when necessary. In terms of reproduction, dick dicks are monogamous. Females are sexually mature at six months, while males do not reach maturity until approximately 12 months. Dick dicks are considered polyestrous, with an estrous cycle length of 13 to 34 days, depending on the species. Their luteal phase lasts between eight and 28 days, while their interluteal phase lasts two to 15 days. Estrus tends to occur within two days of the interluteal phase, with estrus itself lasting from one to three days. Female dictics have a 169 to 174 day gestation and typically carry only one offspring per pregnancy. Births are most common from November to December and April to May during the rainy season. Because of this, most females will only undergo two pregnancies per year. Dick dicks have a very ritualized mating behavior. When they are ready to mate, the female stands very straight, with her back curved and her tail upright, allowing the male to mount her. Copulation does not last very long, and once the fawn is born, it is almost entirely on the mother to raise it. Interestingly, Neonatal dick dicks do not take on the same position during parturition when compared to other ruminants. Instead of holding their front legs forward, neonatal dick dicks are born with their front legs held back against the body. Neonates are also very small, with females weighing 560 to 680 grams and males weighing 725 to 790 grams at birth. Thank you for tuning in to our program. We hope you learned a lot about dick dicks. Are there any questions? 